Alright, we're going to take a look at Cold Night by Yumi at 6. Uh, let's take a look at the intro and verse riff. It goes like this. So that riff stays exactly the same, it's repeated lots throughout the song. Let's take a look at what we're doing. What you may have heard is that we've got this common theme of happening. So uh, those notes are the only notes you need to fret with your left hand. Um, you need to play something, then 7, 9 on the D. Something, 9, 11 on the D. Something, 11, 12 on the D. Something, 9, 11. Something, 7, 9. And the something will depend on um, what bar in the riff you're in. So for the first and second bars, or first and second rounds, you're going to play open on the A. So the something turns into open A. Open, 7, 9. Open, nine, 11. Open, 11, 12. Open, uh, 9, 11. Open, 7, 9. So for the first and second rounds, it's open on the A string. For the third round, it turns into 9 on the A. For the fourth round, it turns into open on the D. So, first and second rounds, we got open on the A string, sounds like this. Third round is 9 on the A. Fourth round is open on D. And that's pretty much it. The only bit I really need to explain is that um, you may have noticed I was switching the fingers that I was using to play 9 on the A. So if you have a look, uh, the first position I start in is I'll play 9 on the A with my middle finger. And then... Oh, actually, do I? Yeah, that's right. Play 9 with the middle finger, then use your index and middle to play 7-9 on the D. But this time bring your index finger across and over so you can play with your index finger, uh, 9 on the A. Flatten your index to play 9 on the D, and then whatever finger to play 11. So... It's just that, that walking switch back, moving the fingers back and forth. That's a little bit to get down. Next part we're going to take a look at is the pre-chorus harmonics. The part goes like this. And repeats. What we're doing is playing harmonics. That is where you uh, hover your finger over the fret position. Um, and in certain places it will produce a harmonic or a sound. What we're using is we're using the 7th fret harmonic on the A and the D. So... Please note, I'm not pressing down the string. I'm just resting my finger on top of it to touch it lightly. This last one here is um, 12 on the D. alternating between the 7th fret harmonic on the A and the D string, and then back to 12, and so on so there. In the verse you will also hear some backing parts that go like, and basically just repeat that over and over again. What we're playing that, uh, there, is uh, an octave, and you're going to play 12 on the A, you're going to mute this D string so we can't hear it, and then you're going to play 14 on the G. You can hear those are the same note, but one octave higher. And then just use your hand or your other fingers to mute the other strings so you only hear those two notes playing. Chorus part. Uh, 
that's first, second, third time round. Fourth time round, you'll play. So, common theme. Uh, we're playing 14 on the G an awful lot. We're picking that a lot. We're picking that basically entire, entirely throughout the chorus. Um, so that's always going on. Then the notes we need to play are... What's going on there is 15 on the B, 12 on the... excuse me, 17 on the B, 14 on the B, 16 on the G, 14 on the B, 16 on the G. That'll happen on rounds 1, 2 and 3. Round 4, you'll play 17 on the B, 14 on the high E, 17 on the high E, 17 on the high E, 17 on the high E. So on the fourth round it should sound like uh, that can take a bit of practice with the continual picking of the and um, particularly on the fourth round just be careful skipping over the B string don't catch it don't, so it sounds clean you just want to play the G and then those high E notes right uh, bridge or breakdown you may tune your guitar to drop D, if you so desire. I do not, so we're going to cheat. Um, there's the bit where they go, whoa, there's some shouting. Okay, what they do is they do a big... So what's going on there is they're playing an E power chord. So zero, uh, if you're in standard tuning, as I am, uh, zero on the low E, two and two, the E, then an F sharp, two four four, and then they do they do play a D because I think they're tuned down. But we're going to cheat and we're going to play an inverted D, so we're going to play five five and seven. Now your regular D power chord would just be five and seven on the A and D, but we're going to play five on the E string to give that lower sound. So inclined to drop D, then you just play open, open, um, so you can get a D that way. So. Alongside that, in the bridge, there's also a short riff. Um, it's a little bit faint to hear, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on. But essentially, they play. Um, Start at 7 on the D, uh, tremolo picking just over and over again, 9 on the D, 9 on the G, 6 on the G, and then 2 counts at 9 on the D. But with palm mute and... Okay, so that is basically the whole song. Um, for all of this, uh, palm muter, as you can see I'm doing here, which is where you'll rest your hands um, on the strings right before the bridge to soften the sound of the notes. On your amplifier, set it to reverb if you got one, um, and get that nice soft sound going. Uh, so that's been a look at Cold Night by You, Me, At Six.